part of my job as an artist is to undermine a lot of my subconscious and monsters are always the something that's lurking under the bed. These become the actual physical alter egos of, of the subconscious fear. And so by making them sort of friendly, it's a way of conquering my own monsters and befriending them. I'm Marnie Weber, and I'm the artist here. I started my career as a performance artist. I would take on a variety of different characters and wear costumes, make video film backdrops of the different characters I was portraying, and present them on stage to an audience. And then over the years, I also translated that work and my narratives into collage and sculpture. What you see here are some of the collages I've done. I created a group of fictitious girls called the Spirit Girls, and they were girls who had died in the 70s and had a band. They weren't able to perform due to the tragic ending, but they came back as spirits to have a band. In the 1890s, there was a movement in America called spiritualism, where people finally decided that the idea of God was something that was the spirit and it would work through them and they would channel spirits on stage. And so that's how the idea for the Spirit Girls was born. Part of my undermining of American sort of folklore and history is that I like to get Halloween costume masks and I add them and I kludge things together. I add eyes, I fill them with expanding foam and then I coat them in resin to make them hard and archival. And I love being able to just put them in different locations, almost like actors in theater piece. So I love the fact that these characters can go different places and um, become different people in a way. And, and they, you know, they're, they're a little frightening, but they're always kind of friendly to me. <laughs> <laughs> 